another video. So you're back with another match day vlog. This time it's wigging away. Um, it's quarter to six in the morning, so it's very early. But um, yeah, um, it's an Easter Monday clash. Three o'clock kickoff. Um, first away game since the derby. So yeah, hopefully we can try and get some more points on the board towards the um, end of the season. Um, it's going to be a tough game because we're going to fight for their lives. But um, anyway, I'll catch up to you when I'm with Luke and the boys and see what they think ahead of the game. Right, pizza hut, but I haven't got a pizza, I've got a salad. I'm trying to be a bit good, you know, ahead of the summer. So, uh, yeah, salad, cucumber, coleslaw, or whatever the fuck else it is. Topped off with some garlic mayo and thousand island dressing. Just get it in your garden, man. Alright. Nice and fresh and juicy. And the sauce adds so much to it as well. I'm gonna go with a solid 8 out of 10. Hey man. Not bad. Okay. So I'm here with Ollie Harford. We're just at the ground now. What's your prediction today? I'm gonna go for two Dale Swans, um, Liam Walsh, and Joel Pro. Nice. Right, Luke, hand review. What have you got? Uh, yeah, so I've just been to the bar now. Uh, I've got a car in dark fruit. Uh, I've never tried it before, it's about 495. Not too bad, but I'll give it a bosh now. No, oh, it's actually really good. I can't even like I'll give it a 9 out of 10, it's bang. Yeah, so uh, Curtis to Jack here. Um, what's your prediction for today's game? Ooh, it won't be an easy game today. I mean, we're going to bottom league, but it's that point of season now where the bottom season is going to be fighting. You know what the championship is like. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I reckon we get a 2 0 win. I hope so. Yeah, I think Joel Perot will get one. And I reckon. Ooh, I think I'll go with um, Olivier Encham. Olivier Encham, he's been on good form, isn't he? Yeah, cheers. Yeah, I'm soon getting one. Right, so we've got the team line at few. In goals, Andy Fisher, Joel Atterbodier, Nathan Wood, Ben Cabango, Ryan Manning, Joe Allen, Jay Fulton, Matt Grimes, Olivia Encham, Jamie Patterson comes back in, and then Joel Pro up front, and then Luke will give you the bench. On the bench, we've got Lewis Webb, Harry Darlin, Luke Cundall, Morgan Whitaker, Liam Cullen, Carl Norton, and Ollie Cooper. Yeah, so um, yeah. a really interesting side. Um, massive shame Liam Walsh is in the team, but it's good to see Jamie Patterson starting. And yeah, overall, I think it's a good squad. Yeah, I don't know why Walsh and Darlin have both been dropped, but yeah, as you said, very interesting and good to see Jamie Patterson back in the team. Right, so we're going to give you our score predictions now then. Um, it's going to be a tough game because, you know, we're going to fight in the lives, so they'll take anything they can get. But um, yeah, I think we'll win, but I don't think it will be, you know, as easy as the table shows. But um, I'm going to say a 2-1 win. I'm going to go with, to get the goal for we're going to actually fletch and to get the goals for the Swans, I'm going to go with... Liam Walsh off the bench if he comes on and Joel Burrow, but what about you? Um, yeah, I think it'll be it, it'll, it'll be a good, a good game to watch. Realistically, we should win. I think mean, we did win that last game against Stoke, I'm pretty sure. So, but but I'm confident. You know, we played well against Carmen Street to get a point against them. I thought it was really good. You know, we should have won the game because we had a lot of chances. But it is what it is. But yeah, I think score prediction. I'll go for a three-one Swans win. Quite confident. I think Joel Pro will get two goals. I think Pat's on the down the score sheet, and I think Will Keane will score it for Wigan.
talk of the penalty of Wigan's goal, so it's all over the place at the moment, and it means it's happening for Paul in the end. Brilliant. We played them off the park first half and we deserve to be in front. Very unfortunate not to be free. Now that hopefully Joel Pro gets his hat trick. And yeah, we've got to keep this up though. If something changes, I'm going to get furious. Because yeah. <laughs> we, we can't be throwing them or something no, like that.
Full-time score, Wigan Athletic, Nail Swansea City 2, what are your thoughts on that? To be honest, it was an easy game, we weren't comfortable in the end, you know, we were all awful in every aspect. You know, you know we, we were just absolutely solid, we were absolutely superb. You know, we're going to make too many mistakes defensively. You know, Perot scoring two identical goals, you know, pretty much the same angle on his left foot. So in the end, it was quite easy, a nice, comfortable win for us, another clean sheet as well, two in a row now. So, um, yeah, it's all good. But uh, yeah, you can tell Wigan, you know, you, you can tell that they're between that and from their table, just quite the way they play. And unfortunately, they are going down, but overall, we were the best size and we definitely deserve to win the game. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think we're unfortunate not to get more goals, but, you know, it's still a solid performance, clean sheet, two goals. You know, I can't really ask for much more, to be honest with you. Three points away from home. Apart from the Cardiff game, obviously, it's been a long time since, uh, since we've said that. But, um, yeah, obviously, it's a massive three points. And, um, yeah, travelling home, um, happy for once. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously, massive thanks once again for watching this. We will be back on Friday for our match preview ahead of Huddersfield at home, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.